Today is November 27th, and it was 65 degrees out today, and I live in upstate New York. That is crazy. Well, hey, my fellow video gamers and Let's Players, I'm JuddlePlays, and welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Pokemon Soul Silver. In the- actually, let me make sure my audio's all the way up. Yes, it is, I don't know. I guess this music is just a little bit softer than some other music in this game. Anyways, in the last episode, we continued going through the Pokemon Radio Tower, fighting Petrol and his- Oh, so creative team of five coughings and a wheezing. Then we went down to the basement and fought our rival for, yeah, mostly last episode was just commentated battles. But in this episode, we're going to have a lot more speed ups because we're going to the basement, or at least the majority of the basement, I believe. Open one door, another closes, but you can't get where you want to go. I kind of said that right, but my words didn't pronunciate correctly. Anyways, uh, might as well battle him. Okay, Team Rocket Grunts, listen up. I really want to start seeing some gosh darn radicates because Jesus Christ, we have fought so many ratatas and it's just crazy. Also, thanks to that guy, I guess I have found out that in order to go through here, when you open a door, other doors close. So I guess that's actually the puzzle of this basement area. Fork over your goods. You know it's kind of sad that we've had confusion since the beginning of the game and it is still one of our major moves that we use for psychic type other than zen headbutt which i believe um telepathy is going to learn anyways eventually but yeah it looks like there's not much we can do other than go up this way because then after that it looks like it's a dead end and i guess those switches to the right as you see the blue green and red ones i'm guessing those are the buttons you press in order to open and close certain doors they ditched this project before they finished i'm searching for leftover loot So if you want to know, yesterday was Thanksgiving, and I swear I must have caught something because I have been coughing like crazy while I'm speeding up these battles, and my voice actually might sound a little bit worse, I don't know. Maybe it's a little bit nasally or not, but I think I am coming down with a cold. Kwahaha! Confounded by the doors, are we? I'll let you in on a secret if you can beat me. Now, Team Rocket Grunt, you better tell us the secret. All right, a hint. Look at the color of the door switches. You push a color switch, and the same color door opens. Okay, so I'm guessing this is a red door, or I don't know. Maybe there's different colors to the doors, or I don't know, but we're going to do something, because obviously we need to go into this room right here, but we kind of can't do that right now. So let's press the green switch, and that closes and opens those doors. So that does actually... That makes it so we cannot go in there, so let's click the red switch, and maybe that'll make it so we can actually- Okay, this traps us in here. Oh god, these doors are going to be a quite- Oh, wait, wait. Okay, well, we made it so we can go through here. I don't know exactly what I did in that puzzle, but I switched the doors correctly. Are you lost? No, you can't be. You don't have the scared look. I'll give you something to be scared about.
Well, I guess I didn't realize the meaning of paralysis, so let me quickly, uh, do use a paral- Actually, no, I believe I don't have any more paralyzed heals, so only full heals are going to be at my use in order to, uh, cure telepathy of his ailments. Yeah, and oh yeah, yeah, I would have done something about that paralysis, but something messed up in my vision, so I don't know what happened. I think it might be, I don't even know if it's there still, but it kind of got me a little scared because usually that's the sign of me getting a migraine, but I think it went away. So hopefully it was just I looked at a light and I got that weird thing in my vision. You know when sometimes you look at a really bright light and then it messes up your vision for a little bit? That's probably why. Mostly because I record in a really dark room looking at a screen on my DSi and a really bright computer monitor, so that might be the case. You're not going any farther. I don't show mercy to my enemies. Especially not brats. I- Oh, Arnie, how are you doing? I don't even know who you are. Jordan, howdy. It's Arnie, how are you? I'm always- Okay, I feel like we've gotten this call before because I remember the voice I did for the character Arnie. Not like that comic book strip Arnie, I mean this Arnie right here. But what I was going to say was, I noticed in right before I actually went into the battle that my voice really did sound like it was getting a little raspy, so hopefully that doesn't occur too much and doesn't affect my commentary in too much of a way. I do want to fight this person here, though, because I don't want to skip any trainers. It's free experience, except not really because you have to battle them. Yuck, 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 I'm gonna switch my Pokemon. Yuck, yuck, I'm gonna be going to Fasha. Yuck, yuck, because he's still only level 35, or she. Oh god, I did not breathe nearly enough times as I actually needed to. And where does this staircase bring us? I hope this isn't, uh. Oh, this actually brings us to where the department store thing is, and we got the amulet coin. Okay, because if you remember, remember this door here? You got here from the basement of the department store? So now we know where these connects or something, or maybe that wasn't the basement, I don't know. And it seems as if we don't have the door puzzle anymore. That's a shame, because that was actually pretty cool, even though it only took me a little bit to actually find out. How did you get this far? I guess it can't be helped. I'll dispose of you. I never thought I would see the day I spammed a flying type move with a fighting type. And it looks like here is TM82 Sleep Talk, and I believe this is actually the director of the radio station. Who? What? You came to rescue me? Thank you. The radio tower. What's happening there? Taken over by Team Rocket? Here, take this card key. And now we can continue on through the radio tower, which is really awesome, but hey, are you gonna come with us though? Use that to open the shutters on third floor. Or, that sounds weird, the grammar wasn't all that great, but I'm begging you to help! There's no telling what they'll do if they control the transmitter. They may even be able to control Pokémon using a signal. You're the only one I can call on. Please save the radio tower. And all the Pokémon nationwide. Yes, so, well, I do have to say that, um, that part was not as long as I thought it was going to be. I thought this basement area was going to be a lot shorter, but then again, yeah, actually, I think we did tackle most of the basement area in this episode because, well, the only thing we missed was actually our rival battle and one trainer battle. So, yeah, we, we mostly did all of this in this episode, but we're not done yet, though, because we're only, like, 18 minutes raw recording, and can we actually... No, we cannot go through here. Oh, God, how are we... How do... Wait, do we just... Okay, there we go, okay. I was getting a little scared there, I'm like, did I screw myself? Do I actually have to use an escape rope of some sort? Nope, I just need to go out this way. You know, you might be wondering, why don't you just cut out into until you get to the one area? Well, I'm going to be going up here and healing up, and then I'm going to cut out until I get to that little shutter door thing in the radio tower. So, yeah. Welcome back to the place of the loud music. I'm Juddle Plays, even though we're still in the same episode. Let's put the card key in here and actually open this door so we can continue on with this area. Or at least what I believe the final part of the radio tower. What do you have to say, bud? Why did the door open? Did you have something to do with this? Hmm. 
Remember when I told these grunt- almost said game grumps, dang, that'd be the really wrong person. Remember when I told these guys that they actually needed to step up their game? Well, I believe they have stepped up their game, partially because they have Raticates now instead of Raditas, but I believe when we run across here, we're gonna have to fight Executive Proton. Now, wait just one second. Aren't you the one who got in our way at the Slowpoke well? I see, you're doing all this because you want to make me angry. Be careful. But since you seem to wish it, I'll show you the full extent of a Team Rocket Executive's wrath. And yes, to end off this episode, we are going to be fighting Executive Proton. Hopefully this battle won't take too long, but who knows. It starts out with level 28 Golbat, that should not be of any sort of problem. I'm actually gonna, uh, let's use Takedown. Mostly because, you know, I just want to, and I'm really surprised how Fasha's faster than this Golbat. But then again, Fasha is, like, um, a decent amount of levels higher than it. And you know what? Now that I think of it, Wing Attack, well, yeah, that was a bad idea. But I still survived it somehow, so you know what we're gonna do? We're gonna switch out to Schist, because I'm pretty sure nothing this Golbat deals out is gonna do, like, a lick of damage to Schist. Mostly because, what are you gonna do, like, Wing Attack? And look how much damage, I'm betting one damage. Oh god, it actually did a little bit, huh. Maybe, oh, maybe I should shut my mouth or something. But gee, oh, you salty Sammy. I don't know why I called him a Salty Sammy, but I just really don't like it when my Pokemon become confused, because watch. Oh my god! That, that is like a once in a wife- once in a lifetime? That is a once in a lifetime thing, because usually, it, like, on the first turn, I automatically hurt myself in confusion. And I guess I don't have to worry about it, because I am not keeping Schist out for wheezing, I'll tell you that much. Uh, who should I go in for- uh, let's go Bessie. Bessie. Partially because I think Bessie's Zen Headbutt is a little bit more powerful than Confusion, or let me rephrase that, it is a little bit- It is more powerful than Confusion is what I'm trying to say. hi yeah, yeah, my words never work. Seriously, you chased me this far? Yeah, I don't know why your voice changed, buddy. Do you go through Puberty Proton? Bessie, please attack- Oh, he missed before Smokescreen. What? And Smokescreen's gonna lower accuracy. And, okay, so with lower accuracy, we hit with Zen Headbutt, but without lowered accuracy- we m miss what and also this wheezing's resilient look at it but then again it is level 33 so what am i expecting and okay we're still using zen headbutt because yeah there's not much else we can use unless i get a crit or i'm really close now as long as this wheezing does not have any healing capabilities i am perfectly fine yes Og, what are you to do blah 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 i'm gonna body slam you and we missed. That's exactly what I thought. So you keep sludging me while I try to get a body slam out. Maybe I'll get poisoned. Or not. So body slam. Yeah. For a second I thought I missed, but that was just the animation for body slam. And yeah, like I said, Proton was not that hard of a battle. I'm probably still gonna heal up because, well, we did get somewhat of a beating in that battle. Because as you see, uh, I believe Fasha... Oh god, no commentary at all after that. That is really weird. They acted like Proton was nothing. Okay. But whatever, so I have to say that that is about it for this episode of Let's Play Pokemon Soul Silver. In the next episode, we are going to be continuing with the Team Rocket... I almost said the Team Rocket HQ, no, that was back in Mahogany Town. We are going to be continue... wait, what? Oh, wait, I need to go down here, where am I going? Where... oh god, I am like getting really... where... what? Okay. I'm getting really confused here, I think I went up the wrong set of stairs. Yes, I did, okay. That's better, I was like, I was going crazy there, I'm like, where the heck am I going? But that was where I was trying to go. So anyways, in the next episode, we're going to continue on with the Team Rocket Radio Tower Expedenture Expedition blah blah blah, and maybe, possibly, finishing it. So, this has been Juddleplay saying see you later and goodbye, and if you want to know why I keep running out to the Pokemon Center, it's because why waste an item when you can just run out to the Pokemon Center and heal up? Anyways, goodbye. Thank <laughs> you.